we said before, there are a lot of things happening within our society, within our economy, that moves us in the direction of more interest in entrepreneurship, the study of entrepreneurship, actions of entrepreneurs, what they mean to our society and the like. The economy in the industrial age, we talk about in general business uh, classes, is was more industrial, large companies, you needed lots of assets, lots of capital. As the organ and that led to employment for life. Essentially if you would a lot of people would work for large companies and would be in those companies uh, for most of their work life. With the introduction of more knowledge-based products and services, markets, technology, and the like, there's more of a trend away from these large capital-intensive companies and more towards knowledge-based companies, which has a, uh, which the benefits of entrepreneurship are much more clear. That's one of the things that we're talking about. But there are many different things that have led to much more interest in the entrepreneurial sector. Probably the single most important is the rise of an industry called venture capital. Venture capital are, is a, an, an entire industry that includes tens of billions of dollars that is set aside by investors primarily or solely for the purpose of starting and supporting the growth of new startup companies and companies that are in the, the early phases of their, their, their establishment, growth, and then expansion and having the funds available to do that. Now those companies of course require high returns on their investment and we'll talk a lot more about that in later uh, modules but by and large there is now for the purposes of people like us that want to start our own companies there is a tremendous amount of capital at our disposal that allows us to invest in company or that allows us to invest our time and energy in return they give money and there, is the, there are the assets that grow this. This industry started with the invention of the microprocessor basically in the late 50s, early 60s, and in California plants and some of the people that made uh, lots of money early uh, ha saw the opportunity and they saw people wanting to develop new products, new computing type technologies, new software and the like, and they started funding start up businesses along those lines like Apple and Microsoft and others and based upon all of that they all became very savvy at this and made high returns and other people started putting their money to work with those people as the general partners and more and more money went into the venture capital industry and now there's venture capitalists in California or pretty much every state and in fact, New York, the New York area, greater New metro area here, is fast approaching the California marketplace in terms of the size and the reach of its venture capital funding opportunities. Um, Boston is, uh, is up there as well. Um, and New York area in Boston and, Calif and the California Silicon Valley area, the largest ones um, in, in nowadays. But there's lots of opportunity. If you have a good opportunity, and you have a good business and you do the activities we described, what's different today than 30, 40, 50 years ago is money is really not the problem. You have to get it, you have to sell to get it, like the TV show Shark Tank, but it's not that you go to banks who have their own rules, but there are, is an entire industry that is framed purposefully in order to invest and, and support this kind of activity. There's also a lot of role models. There's a lot of media attention, as you probably know, to different kinds of entrepreneurs. Um, Elon Musk is one of the more recent ones you tend to see a lot. He was recently um, on uh, some of these television uh, talk shows talking about innovation and some of his, his ideas related to uh, SpaceX, transporting stuff to the um, materials to the space station, but ultimately he'd like to go to Mars and have commercial uh, operations that do that. He's uh, also as the Tesla electric car. Um, yeah, he uh, started as a, an investor in, a, in a, the people that invented PayPal. And he is doing these kinds of activities. And you see a lot of this in the media, and it makes it seem possible. The model is out there. And so you have these kinds of classes that begin to teach, it, teach these things. Also, as I mentioned in the very first part of this, uh, this short video, is there has been a change to the way people are employed. It used to be 
you'd go join a large company. When I started working, I went to the was the phone company, um, AT and T. It was in my case, I went was in New Orleans at South Central Bell, and you assume people say great job, you have it for life, you have a pension, the whole thing. You work in a steel mill, you work in various kinds of factories, whatever. Employment was for life, and there was an implied contract there. Well, when global competition started entering in the 80s and 90s, uh, that contract started to change and people became responsible for their own careers. And that made other able people look outside at opportunities. This was happening in conjunction with the venture capital arena and all these new technologies developed, including entrepreneurs as media, um, having media attention. And people started to think more about their own career in terms of jobs they might have. Starting a company became a possibility, or working for a startup became a possibility. That's part of what this change in values is about. People want to be their own boss. They want to have an opportunity to create something, build something. Um, and as these changes to our economic culture have developed over time, we have, of course, developed more attention on what entrepreneurship can do and how it can change our culture. Increasingly, all of these changes and trends in, our, in the marketplace and in the, in the global economy are leading to entrepreneurship as a global phenomenon. It's much more important now to understand how this works because it's also happening in other countries, in China and Malaysia and Brazil. Lots more focus on how the entrepreneurial process, is the process of finding the, <clears throat> finding the opportunity, building the business model, how those things develop over time. And that will be the focus of our next video, the next lecture. We'll talk about the actual process. We'll go into more detail about the activities we discussed earlier and how we address these trends so that people in the entrepreneurial world are finding and building new business opportunities. One of you, most of you, at least probably 30, 40% of you will work for a company at some time in your career that someone has not yet identified and not yet built. And that's what we'll talk about next, the stages of entrepreneurship, the process of building an entrepreneurial business.